welcome back to Life at Susie's. Uh, my name is Olivia, and today I wanted to go through uh, one of my favorite cocktails, particularly for this uh, winter weather. It is really stormy outside, so this is my absolute go-to. I make this at home all the time. Um, traditionally, uh, this was drunk, um, you know, if you had a little bit of a cold and your grandma went, well, I know how to sort you out. So this is a great excuse for having a little cheeky whiskey uh, in your drink if you've got a little sore throat or a cough. Um, so the drink I'm doing today is the hot toddy. Um, so for those of you that haven't heard of that before, it is a hot drink. The origins are a little bit convoluted, but we know we started seeing them in Scotland in the 1700s. And the exact recipe that was used varies very, very greatly, um, depending on what whiskey uh, base you use. Some are bourbon, some are scotches, some are even Irish whiskies and some of the ingredients that went into it as well. So the hot component could be a tea or a hot cider. We're gonna use a hot water today so we can showcase the flavors of our whiskeys. So I'm starting off uh, with the most important part, the whiskey itself. So this is Rider's Tears. Now, one of my favorite whiskies to mix with. It's a beautiful Irish whiskey, very, very delicate, very um, easily accessible as far as the flavor goes. It's got a lovely sweetness and very, very easy to drink. So we're gonna start off with a nice uh, glass that's a bit heat resistant. You don't wanna burn yourself when you're drinking this. And we're gonna do 45 mils um, of whiskey in there. Obviously, if you're making this at home, you can dictate how, mu uh, how many mils of this uh, you want, um, but just starting with a standard recipe, uh, 45 will do. Now, the rest of this drink is very, very simple. It's just assembling um, the ingredients that you want um, in the glass. So we've got some lovely spices here. Um, classically, I really love to use some cinnamon, a um, little bit of uh, clove as well, and some black pepper. Just gonna pour those in here. And then a little bit of citrus too. So I've got some beautiful dried orange here. And then I'm gonna introduce a little bit more citrus with some lemon juice. So just squeezing a half lemon in there, just to help balance out our next ingredient, which is honey. So obviously you can use any kind of sweetener you like. If you like agave syrup, or maybe you want some maple in there, or even a flavored sugar syrup but honey always makes me feel better when the weather is cold, so I'm gonna use that today. Beautiful. And then just top it up with our hot water in there. Give it a little stir to serve. And again, if you're feeling inspired, you can use any different kinds of uh, flavoring in here. So if you wanted something with a little bit more herbal notes, you could add rosemary, any other spices like nutmeg or star anise work really beautifully. So it's really up to you um, how creative you feel like being. And that is our beautiful winter warmer hot toddy. So super simple, really easy for you guys to make at home. Um, Thank you so much for being here with me today. My name is Olivia. This is Susie Wong and Life at Susie's is our channel. If you like the videos that we do, we are doing a lot of them. So hit the subs uh, subscribe button and uh, I can't wait to show you some more content soon. Thanks for joining me. See you folks.